Uh, morning, guys. How was today's workout? Today was so nice. It was challenging, but at least we have managed it. Yeah, and a lot of sweat. <laughs> yeah. I am Karibisha Watu. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are, you are missing a lot. Hey, Karibu Nisana. Can I go? Elixir. <laughs> In Donholm. <laughs> In Donholm. Turn the turn. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, my darling. <laughs> hello, my darling. Hello, hello. Hello, my sweetie. <laughs> hello, good morning. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Welcome again <laughs> to Galactic Productions. I think that's good to be here. on. On that show. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. We hope you've all had a, a good week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, then this week has ended quickly, Nakini. It's flown by. This week has ended like last night ended. Mother, <laughs> quick. It began and it, it, it began and it was over. In the same Welcome again, everyone, to another edition of uh, Makasiriko Farahi Day. Makasiriko Friday. Here on that show. Man. Here at Galactic Productions. With, with us, your peoples. Mimi night at no? Na Afrofab. Tunawa karibisha kwa mwini. Yani, grab, grab your tea. Mi, chayangu yiko karibu kwa mwini. Lewa tasina makasiriko. <laughs> I can't even kasirika today. Today I've come to celebrate. You know? Yeah. I, I know there's makasiriko, yeah? yeah? But, um, and I know like we're going to be talking about, uh, let's just dive into it. Let's <laughs> not tell me I could beat about the bush. Mm -mm. Not that I know how to do that anyway. Mm -mm. Anyway, shoot your shots. I'm going to shoot my shot. Yes. Like um, our first topic today is uh, literally parents stealing from their children, and more especially, um, okay, that that was very bad English. Was as <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, when when we talk about stealing, we always think about material stuff, mm. like um, um, Mali nyumba. You okay. know, material stuff, tangible things. Yeah. What we forget is when you refuse to um, educate yes. a girl, you are stealing yeah, her you're future. Robbing her. Yeah. You're robbing her of her greatness. Yes. And if this person then is not somebody who can go out there and educate herself and fight for herself, then you have robbed her of the opportunity yeah. to become the best version of herself. Yes. When parents talk down at their daughters and children just generally, children but today, just. last week I spoke about the boy child, yeah. today I am speaking about the girl child. Girls. I am speaking about the women out here. I am speaking about my sisters who are being robbed of a future. You have a bright young lady mm. who is an all A student, blah, blah, blah. But because she's a girl, yes. you're going to educate a stupid boy. And I say stupid not because people who can't get A's are not stupid, but a stupid boy who cannot see that the only reason he's being educated is because so he's a boy. And <laughs> you know, he's a boy. and he is squandering every opportunity he's given. Yes. Yeah? And we are busy here educating these people who all they do is get drunk all day and tell people how, you know, I have a degree in engineering. Amazing. You know, I, I, am, I, I have a PhD. Who fucking cares? What are you doing with it? So you have a PhD. What are you doing with it? How are you changing the world? What you know what I mean? What, what positive impact? Someone was refused an education because you have... Hmm testosterone mm -hmm. i'm going to be polite <laughs> that's that's your version of censoring today yeah i have censored myself yeah maybe. because you have testosterone someone your sister was denied an education yeah. and you squander it she was married off early she was taken for these funny funny practices and here you are just thumping telling us the way you have a certificate we refuse to educate our daughters we refuse to give them opportunities we marry them off young 
and then we expect them to hold the family up by bwana yako yuko na pesa mm. do we marry you off to someone who has money now we want to spend your husband's money yeah Fuck off. We married you off to a stupid man who has money. Excuse my language, but you can F uh, off. Tell it. Tell it. It's rubbish. It is rubbish. 2020 people are still practicing this. You refuse to educate me. You marry me off. You, like, you sell me off. Mm. And then you still expect me as to hold you up. As early and then you expect me atie, atienda kwa mze wako. You're being abused at home. You're going through all this shit. Like, you know, Oh, mtu unajiona tusaidianga. Yeah. Enda tu kai watu watu uelewana watu wanaongea. Watu wangea tu. You're telling this child to go and your child has come back old man with with dead a, a black eye with dance this baby even like a concussion like eye patch and a concussion to go with and a pregnancy. Let me tell you something. We as especially as the African community need to style up. We need to remember to protect yeah. our women. You know? Mm. We need to remember that just generally in nature mm. women are more vulnerable. It is. It is so true. Women are more vulnerable. Polemic sana kwa hitilafu. Yeah, the yeah. is gone. Is yeah. gone. Yeah, yeah. So women are more vulnerable mm. because we are generally weaker yes. physically. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. So if we are weaker physically, if you have somebody or yeah. um a child yeah. who is weaker, mm. we have to take care of them, no? True. Keep talking. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's true because again now yeah. now you see that's where um the man yeah. comes in again. Yeah. Because you have your role again to play. You protect me, I protect you. It's it's a two way thing. Yeah. Unaona? Nisaidie ni kusaidie. Nifunike ni kufunike. Yeah. Unaona? It's not that Don't it's just, just love just your words. little girls yeah. when they're five years old and you can hug them. Mm. And as soon as they become teenagers, we become enemies of progress. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? A little girl is loved and adorable and her little bunches of hair are you know like yeah. she's taken care of take care of your sister yes you hear the father say yeah. but as soon as she starts growing boobs she becomes a commodity yani yeah. yani yeah, are like oh child we are here counting cows on little your girls head. For sale, you might as well put up those yeah, signs you outside well, your yeah, gates. Advertise neon lights and all. Let's just make it open that we are selling our daughters. Highest bidder. Yeah. Because a young man who cares about your daughter, who is a cattle herder's boy, mm. no, you cannot marry that boy. Even yeah. though he loves her, even though he he's getting a good education, even though you can see that this young man is going to be someone in the future because he you is driven, yes. he is focused, he, he treats dreams. your daughter well, but he hasn't got money yet, so, and I'm selling her to the highest, highest bidder. Nani? Nataka uende nyambo upate mzungu utulete pesa. Kwa sababu mzungu damu yake ni ya purple, sindio? Because brains zake zime, zime tangenezo na platinum. And, Caroline Kinyana says, my favorite show, Yawa. I love you girls. We love you too, Kenyana. Na kwanza jana huku kuja tizi. Anyway, um, Steve J. Stevens, as an asema, preach, you know, preach, you know. I'm like, look, guys, today is my Kasirika Friday. But before I start Kasirika, I've Kasirika on, on, on that thing of stealing and blah, 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 blah. What we have to remember is, yeah, Again, as I said, yes, there is that mumbles of stealing people's property, yes. telling a girl child, let's, let's, uh, um, as a family, let's um, buy this property or let's do this because I'm a omoka, I love him, I'm you send her somewhere to go work, do yeah. whatever, yeah. and she sends money to develop herself. Iyo pesa ni yetu anyway. See, we, but I tell you what, women generally, women generally are so forgiving mm -hmm. and we forget quick. quick. Baba yangu, mama yangu, amenifanya vibaya, lakini 
ni mgonjwa mm-hmm. I'm the one who's going to start rallying everyone yes, exactly. let's get okay, money together let's, let's pay for the insurance yeah. let's do this chokeni mm-hmm. get tired women let's start getting tired we are tired of being overlooked we are tired of being denied the same opportunities we are tired of being held by stupid standards like if i'm in politics as a woman mm. they don't see the value of what is in my brain yeah. they don't see the value of what i speak about they don't see what i stand for they see what i freaking wear yeah. What has it got to do with the value of anything? Why is she dressed like that? Why is her hair like that? She should you be know, at home with the children. You know, what's it got to do with tonight? anything? What, like, yo. I remember there was a politician, and I don't know why he's just come into my head. Yes. I don't know about his politics, or I don't know anything, yeah? Politics. But I remember somebody who was called Martin Shikuku. Mm. Shikuku. And I don't think he used to shave his hair, but because I, I remember just thinking... <laughs> And I was a child, but, and, but that name just came into my head. And I thought, but even if you look at someone like Miguna Miguna, like even Raila sometimes, it is not always looking all sh- shaved and they look you know, like shit. They you know what I mean? Hair, so, look horrible. Yeah, so, sorry, but sorry. nobody really will say, even you watch, oh, see a yes. newspaper oh. saying, Ati, oh, sijui watoto, sijui nini, okay, mtu ameza inje, amefanya nini, oh, okay, you wait for a politician to step mm-hmm. up and she's a woman. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter about her values. It doesn't matter about anything. What a tu akwe at a single mother. What a tu akwe single mother. No, they're going to tear her yeah? like this. Exactly. Bit by bit. This guy bit. has children. Huko, huko, huko. Wengine hata wajulikani. Yeah? He's caught in a brothel with prostitutes. He's, yes. You know what I mean? Yani, series easy. You know, scandal after scandal the, after like, scandal. But like, yet, we as a nation will forgive these indiscretions. Because he's a... We will not hold them accountable for anything. What a tu waigoro afanye kitu mzuri. Unasiki ati alienda kwa banka katembea na 250 million. How do you carry 250 million or however much it was supposed to be freaking me? Do you know how much 250 million is? Uwe mtu wato kipate ya 20 kilos, 50 kilos a bebe hivi kwa mgongo wezi beba. Mtu wato beba. Anatana kukwambia ali ulu, ali choka. Do you understand? And you... Shipo. <laughs> believe yes. it. Why? Because it's a woman. Because and we don't just believe it. We punish her. True. Raid her house. Get into her life. Expose her life. Put her out there. Like We fry her. Uh, it's nonsense. And it's not just the men doing it. It's, uh, it's everyone, man. It's Sisters. Everyone. Yeah. Sisters, Beating down sisters, your sisters, we live in a system that is against us. Oh. Fact. And that's one thing that's known out there. We live in a system that has failed us. A woman the other day is giving birth outside a hospital. Mm. But who comes to the rescue? The men. Outside a hospital, other sisters are screaming. Go break down the gate. What's that? Exactly. Like, get her help. You know, go drag a doctor from Ukondani. Like, oh, I'm not a Zalia. Because what you are doing, what you are doing. And the wafanya, there's, there's a whole there's a whole crowd of you now watching him. Moja, to when you watch him, she came when the pale mwinge kulem nana offer a solution. Sisters, we live in a system mm. that is so punitive to us, that is against us from the day we are born. You're a woman in mm. this society, and in certain societies, it doesn't matter how much you do in that family, you will never inherit anything. Not even a cup. You cannot even be buried in that homestead. That's where you've been raised. That's, that's, that's the family, you know. Lakini. So, ukiangalia mila kama hizo, unashanga kwa nini sisi kama wanawake, we still say we have family. <laughs> You're renting a family for a couple of years. After hapo, toko ukiendanga. Ukisha ambiwa, ukisha olewa, enda kwenye, uko mm. kwingine. Enda! Enda! Usibembeleze ya wase. Go! Contract ya yeah. wase. Imeisha. Yes. 
You have a new family now. That's what they tell you, no? Go. You've been adopted to a new family. Move. You know, especially like those people who umeolewa, unateswa uko, and your family can't even step in. Africans, Africans, let me speak to you as Africans. These are not our traditions. These are not our traditions. Our traditions are not to sell our daughters. Mm -mm. Dowry is not supposed to be a for sale thing. Mm -mm. Do you understand? It's not supposed to be a highest bidder. Mm -mm. It's supposed to be something that someone brings to say, thank you for Talking raising an amazing woman. These two families are supposed to now come together exactly. and work together. One. These two children are supposed to be supported. Yep. Support, not fleece. Hey. Yes? Uh, Kijana ameomoka. Kidogo tu akona job poa. Kidogo tu akikuja kuitisha hand in marriage anambiwa letter 5 million. Hivi go lokanye. Adwa gero ot. Nataka kujenga nyumba. Do I want to build a house for my family yes. or do I want to enrich the family that raised her? Mm. Cuz I'm working hard. You so, that, so that I can I can I can at least um sustain this beautiful person that I've decided I want you in my life. Those people who are selling their girls Put a for sale sign When she's 15 Let's yeah. just be honest about what we're doing That's it Girl ripe in 3 years Bas. Highest bidder Nyeleo. Start bidding Start now. bidding Start now. bidding now You have 3 years to go nani So you have 3 years to work hard for Unezanza kuchanga sai Unajua This is like ikifika 3 years Beste ka ukijua The hammer slams like this Highest Let leader. us stop seeing women rubbish. in our society as property. property. Yes? Ladies, let us stop seeing the sale of women as something honorable mm -hmm. because it's not. Because what we're doing is, the message we're sending is, if you pay more for me, mm -hmm. then you value me more. Mm -hmm. But once you've been paid for, what's the difference between you and that car parked outside his house? Exactly. What's the difference be you, between you and his 65-inch telly? What's the difference between you and head. all his other possessions? Whether it's a phone or a pen or whatever, they all had price tags. You I am price not tag against yourself. dowry per se. Because if someone decides that that's their tradition and people they, they value the it and respect it, yeah. then that's fine. People should know but the people should know why there is a dowry to be paid. Yes. And what is the purpose exactly. of this dowry that is being paid? Know why you're paying it. Know what you're paying. Yeah? Stop being sold and seeing it as a mark of respect. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people out here are being beaten and being told that I paid for you. So therefore, I can do as I please with you. Because you belong to me. Again, I ask for those people who say that you want to be paid for so much, so much, so much. What's the difference between you and that telly? What's the difference between you and that car? What's the difference? Mm. You and that sofa you're sitting on. His sofa. <laughs> He's bought all of it. <laughs> and you know, it's so bad that um, uh, um, uh, the, uh, well, ladies are raised to believe that. And it's so crazy that the ladies who actually go on ahead and pay their own dowry. So that, nisiaibishe jama wangu, asionekane hana kakitu. Missy understand. I will share my story. Missy understand. Please do. <laughs> my second husband, mm -hmm. my most recent ex-husband. <laughs> <laughs> We're still waiting for number <laughs> Number three. And so, when we went home, yeah. he's German. Yeah. And when we went home to meet my parents, mm -hmm. I had aunties, uncles, people coming to the homestead. Yes. And they started calculating how much he was going to be fleeced mm. because that's how I say I say it, how that's how I see it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I remember sitting down with my parents and saying, He's not giving you a penny. 
And they're like, yeah, but it's our customs, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, but my uncles are already congregating outside yeah. in the manyata like, or whatever you call it. Demands. Starting to plan. Plan yeah. how they're going to get rich from Who's my Muzungu husband. Lands, you know? Like, oh, suti ya nani. Nani has to get a suit. You know? He has to be carried in this type of a car. And, and I sat down with my man and I said, listen. I know that you don't know the customs, yeah. but these are the customs, yes. and I refuse to be sold. Yeah. Period. It did not go down well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but it's 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 important to have that information. It that did not go down well with yeah. my people. Huh? And I am glad I stood my ground mm. because I refused to be bought. I refused to be sold. I resented I how they were approaching yeah. this thing. Mm. I resented being seen as a commodity. Yeah. I resented the fact that I left home at 18 mm. And self-educated. Mm -hmm. You raised yourself for the remaining years. I resented the fact that I'd been away from home and done all this stuff by myself, without support, without help, and all of a sudden, they were acting as if they've been there every single day. They've done it all. I resented that. Mm -hmm. You know. People, please let us know what you think about this in the comment section. Because uh, uh, this, these are our views, Sawa, as Night Atemo and Afrofab. Yeah. But let us know what you think in the comment section. What do you think about dowry and this sale business? Because to me, it looks like a sale business. It is. People miss the point yeah. greatly. Of dowry. Yeah. Because, again, we said token of appreciation yes not a price tag unajua watu wengine like mama kile tachali inakuanga nikawa amewinda amewin lota lota nani ah kuna chuko mayo inakuanga eh eh ati what is your name bring out the bubbly what is your name you're not chien you're not chien who is your father bas anyanyama or some politician yes. or yes. some prominent yes. businessman or orengo is my uncle i know to the left to they the start right. calculating hey. okay so he's married to or he comes from a rich family uh -huh. yes. oh which school did you Where go to did you go to school yeah uh, um what level of education uh, exactly when i do to okay At so this one, yes uh. yeah yeah, it's like literally it's like you're you're playing a game so it's like you reach a new level you're like hey, 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 boss <laughs> this is the point i'd like to say chaza chini like you you can't hide who you are yeah because you're trying to run away from these people and their <clears throat> stupid traditions and customs i it think talking about traditions and customs I would like to talk, and, and before the show I got very emotional, and even now I feel like I'm going to get emotional, because I feel like there's something happening in our society mm -hmm. that shouldn't really be happening, yeah. and it's illegal. FGM, female genital mutilation. mutilation. Let's listen, that word. It's, there's nothing like female circumcision, mm -mm. it's female genital Mutilation. Mutilation. Now, let me go to Dr. Google. Dr. Google. Google, the word mutilate. Hmm. Yeah? Remember that thing? That Mutilation is the action of mutilating or being mutilated. <laughs> what is mutilate? Fafanua, kina gaubaga. Because you're there. Mimi. To mutilate is to inflict a violent and disfiguring injury. So much, Emma. 
to inflict a violent, violent and disfiguring, disfiguring injury. Disfiguring injury. Those are three. Three words. Inflict serious damage. <laughs> so what have we done? We've been violent. We've disfigured. Uh, and, and, and it's been done dangerously. Yeah. Yes, people are being rushed to hospital because they're bleeding. 22 obviously. women last week. Women, not even... At the small girls who no. can't make up their women. own Women, yeah, were, I believe, coerced mm. into being initiated. Mutilation, please. Into let, being let, mutilated. Let, let, let description because otherwise second. you will... This figure spoil the appearance of. Hmm? So, mutilation is violently disfiguring, and disfiguring is spoiling the appearance of. So, you have violently spoiled the appearance of somebody's vagina. Somebody's reproductive organ. Somebody, somebody's source of sexual enjoyment. That's three. Somebody's birth canal. The way we bring life into this world has now been made even harder. Let's just think about that. And I said this on Monday when we spoke about it. And I said, any man who champions FGM, FGM should go and get the whole tip of his penis cut. Mutilated. Yes. Mutilated. Disfigured. And have <laughs> and the whole inflicted. tip of his penis cut. Mutilated, mm. disfigured, yes. get bobbited. If you know what bobbit is, if you don't know, Google it. Yes. Yeah? Refer to your agriculture lessons. Mm. Sasa, <laughs> ukisha enda ukatwe. Come and discuss this FGM story. Ukisha pona, ukisha jaribu ku have sex after that, kujo tuambie. Mm. Kuja utuambie how you still think that that barbaric custom should continue. Also, after you've been cut, go and sit down and watch two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours of fit women who've been mutilated trying to give birth. And then come and discuss this story. And then come tell us what you think now. Come tell us how you're still championing FGM. So any man who thinks that this is a custom that should continue, please, I challenge you. This is the FGM challenge, and I'm putting it out there for any man who thinks mm -hmm. that this should still carry on. And women and who support this. And any woman who supports FGM and hasn't been cut, please go put yourself through it. Mm. Saying that we should respect other people's customs. Mm. Go. Go. And also, again, FGM challenge, go get cut, and then go watch all this stuff. Mm. Or, go watch it, then get cut, and then get cut. And then come share in the comments. Get mutilated. Guys, this, figured this thing is illegal. It's something that can be reported. And I always say that you think that when you report one thing, it will not make but if enough people are reporting the same thing what are going to be police what are one person what are talking about pia how exactly ku is a simple effect Kushinda. you start it goes it goes it goes exactly because that word is going to get out there yeah it will get out there kwa sababu wewe ukiwa nairobi utachoka ule mtu wa narok atachoka mm. ule mtu mwenye ako eldoret atachoka mm. it's something that it's going to go it's going to go and eventually you'll find out that 
everyone is actually talking about this thing. I love to think about some of the reasons that what benefits women does it uh, even have for men. They, it, it gives them a tighter pussy. Fuck you. Fuck you. And for those men uh, who, who want that, and I took a kulem to mkuyet live. It's that simple. You know what I mean? It is that yeah. simple. You have tight things. Yeah. Ah, you know it fast. I don't want to look at you and you're going to tight in a feeling. Exactly. <laughs> you know? I'm tired. I, I think. And, and the reason why I'm so upset about this is because it was a man who brought it online saying how their customs were, like their rights to practice their customs were being stifled. And this was as a result of 22 women between the ages of 16 and I think they were 16 21. and 26. No, they were, they, they, were, they were older ones. Yeah, they were older ones. So you imagine somebody who's like, already given birth the first time yeah. has already been practicing maybe very pleasant sex for a while now being told that the reason why we're going to mutilate you is because we want you to take care of the younger girls who we are going to mutilate and you cannot take care of them post mutilation unless you're mutilated. And if you don't agree to be mutilated, then you have to leave our society. Talka kwa your society. Talka. The problem is, most of these women are not empowered to kutoka kwa your society. It's not as simple as that. It's easy for us to sit here and say it's as easy as leaving because we have the luxury of saying that. That's like a, 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 a white person saying that racism doesn't exist because they've never encountered it. Mm. It's the same as us saying to a woman who's being abused that it's as simple as walking away. It's not always as simple as that. Yes? But it's on us who have this luxury to make noise about this shit. It's on us, sisters. There's some ladies I went to school with. I went to school in... Narok. Mm. Let me just say it. I yeah. went to school in Narok and these practices are rife. So, of course, there's some of them who, of course, were able to come to school, yeah. were educated, so they're enlightened, they know there's different ways of doing things. Yeah. So, it process walikata. Yeah. And years later, I've just been seeing on them turn out, yeah. like, you see somebody has posted videos, nini nini. Those who actually refuse to go through the process are yeah. coming back to educate the other ladies. Yeah. And I'm like, like you said, it's up to us. Yeah. It's up to us to get out of our comfort zone. That's it. Get on the ground mm -hmm. and tell them, you know what? This thing is not a must. Exactly. Because, I mean, if you sit down, like they always, they always tell us, like say like when you go to a clinic, yeah. they talk about family planning. Yes. Benefits, why you should do it. It's explained. It's broken mm, down. Mm. FGM. So do you think that perhaps those well, people like in power, power and especially the women representatives mm -hmm. need to do some a lot more civil lot civic education? More. Yes. Because there's, there's women who are living in the Manatas. There are women who are living... And they don't know that it's that actually... Yeah, because because it's wanajua they wanajua they they yeah. 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 Wanajua they they know. Yeah. Wanajua wanaumia, lakini hawajui how to stop yes. it. They're not allowed to talk about it. Because yeah. Because you're a woman. Hey, shush. Yeah. Sit in the corner. Kajini kumbaf. Exactly. Because, lakini kwa mino umeka apale, you're there nursing your wound. Unaumia. You're bleeding. Excuse me. Month on month on month, you're nursing a wound that I yeah. work Yes, Zillas are like so. It's a rite of passage. Can't we do it in a different way? Yeah, do you have to mutilate my parts? Yeah, no, no, yeah. You're you, you. I think, no, not I think. This is a call to a woman in power if you're in a position. Mm. You have a voice in your society. Yes. Use that voice po positively. Yep. And apale, if you know this practice is happening, ama unajua kuna mtu mwenyako affected in some type of way, Yeah. talk about it. Educate I, them. Exactly. And also, <laughs> ladies, let's remember. It's us to make this change. Uh, yani, sensor zilifanywa. <sighs> sensor zikasema. Uh, there are more women than what, eh? 
imagine it. Amen. The census tells us that we outnumber these fuckers. Do fads. Kama tu vile hapo nini pale nje hospitali. Muko hawa mama wanane mnapiga nduru watchman ni mgapi? Mmoja. Today what I'd like to say is two thirds. No good girls ever changed history. True. It's too much is out there. By it's... no good girls ever changed history, I mean if we as women conform to what society expects us to be, mm. we will never change a thing. We need to step up, step out, and get some shit done. Yeah? yeah? We need place to table, stop man. being demure and be seen and not heard. We need to stop being what society expects a woman to be. That's the expectation. Mwanamke hafai kujiva hivo. Mwanamke hafai kukuwa vocal. See, there are women who've changed the world and they didn't even have to make too much noise. They did it quietly. Mother Teresa, Florence Nightingale, Cecilia Payne. I'm sure nobody knows who Cecilia Payne is. <laughs> I didn't even know about Cecilia Payne until last night. Cecilia Payne is the woman who discovered what the sun was made of. And like many women in history, not just in physics, not just in medicine, not just in... The person who invented a bra on paper is a man. But in reality, it was a woman. She was tired of things jingling. She took two handkerchiefs, she tied them, she wrecked them, she thought, eh, you get an invention. So she started selling it to her friends. Mm. Kidogo, 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 kidogo. A man bought the patent. Of course. Of course, because he saw a money-making scheme. And then he mass-produced and claimed invention. I invented the bra. You know? Hmm. Mm -mm. Most things out here that I invented are mostly women's invention. Yeah. And you have to remember, in the past, women were not allowed to publish. They were not allowed to say that they'd actually done anything. Mm. We were supposed to, shit, uh, uh, to sit down, yeah. shut up, get just be a pretty face and be counted. Basically, the end. Reproduce. Two. And that is why Two. women are still defined by their ability to reproduce. Kama hawezi za wezi mwanamke. Wezi mwanamke. Yani, we've got to a point where in our society, <laughs> if I introduce myself and I don't say I am wife of <laughs> and, and mother <laughs> to, then I'm less of a woman. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, but no, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Your father and mother me, did not raise a husband for me. My name <laughs> is Knight Atieno. These are my lists of achievements. Mm. It doesn't matter which university I went to. Yes. It doesn't matter any of that. It doesn't matter what I've done for my society. If I'm not a wife and a mother, then I'm less of a woman. Mm -hmm. A few no man. achievements and you know what I mean. No, like, no, no, man. Cool. no, just no, you know. <laughs> anyway, I would like to take a moment to stop Kasiri Kari. <laughs> I have mentioned a few women who were not Kenyan, but now I would start by mentioning a few Kenyan women who have trailblazed mm. for us. When we talk about freedom fighting, we don't hear about the women in the struggle. We have become the colonizers when it, becomes, when it comes to that. When the British, most of them, celebrate their, their wars and what they won and whatever, and their, their heroes and their soldiers, they forget that our forefathers Africans, Indians, from the colonies were a big, big, massive part
part and reason why they were successful in these wars. Last week, Many of our forefathers, 11th of, of November is, mm. many of our forefathers are buried in their cemeteries. Go to England. They're buried. It's called... These are Commonwealth graves. These are graves that their grandchildren and their children never got to standard and they're ignored. It's the same way as female achievements are ignored. Yeah? Freedom fighters like Nanjiru, like Rebecca and Jerry, these were women who fought alongside men, who led men into fight. But you never hear that there were any female fighters, yeah. any female freedom fighters. These were the women who trailblazed for us. These were the women who made sure that we have freedom now. And we, as a nation, still oppress women. We forget hmm. that there were female freedom fighters. When you hear in South Africa about apartheid, you think that it was only men that fought, they spoke louder, yes, they were more educated, but it's because the system oppressed women. Yeah? yeah? So when we think about the reason why we even have freedom right now, let's not forget about those women. Let's not forget about women who've made it so that our environment is still standing against big corporation, mm -hmm. Wangari Madai. Let's not forget about women like Mary Elizabeth O'Kaylor, Makini School, who was the first female ba bank manager in Kenya in mm -hmm. 1977. Mm -hmm. We think Makini was born, born yesterday. Makini was born in 1978-77 in her house. Yeah, these are women who've been working for empowerment for education, for Changing better stories out here. Changing the narrative. These are Kenyan women who've stood. Yeah? Tegla, Chapkite, mm -hmm. Lerupe, Athletics, Olympics. Champion of Peace and Women Women's Rights Flying and Education. The Kenyan flag high in the world stage. Let us not forget about political giants like Mata Wangari Karua. I don't care what you think about her politics. She's she stood someone up who has achieved to be a lot. And, and I believe and like that all her opinion. education has happened here in Kenya. I believe so. And if I'm wrong, maybe Kadrika Moja Makakitu, maybe Kainja, Lakini, most of it is a foundation. Which means that our education system, if given a chance, actually works. Yeah. Our women, if given a chance, are driven and they make changes. True. You see, I don't care what propaganda muliambiwa, I don't yeah. care. Hata kama alifanya nini, wangapi wamefanya nini? achieve nini? Watu wangapi wamefanya nini hapa Kenya? And we forgive them and we move on. Yeah? yeah? Let's not forget about people like Charity Ngilu, mm. uh, whether you agree with her beliefs, whether you agree with her politics, whether you agree with the, the first female presidential candidate in Kenya, 1997. Imagine. Imagine. And she got that number four because the men were thinking, in a patriarchal society, she stepped up. And you have to remember that every young lady, every young girl who, see, who saw her do this, exactly, who saw her do this, thought to herself, do you know what? If she can, so can I. Yes. Bas. Yeah? Lupita ah. Nyongo. Wakanda forever. <laughs> World stage, my name is. Yes? 
not celebrated here. She's being celebrated out there because out here we are busy here. A prophet is never celebrated in his own land. Yes, Let's not forget that. Yes, yeah. Fine. So if you're a woman doing amazing <clears throat> things out there, don't wait for people to celebrate you. And you keep doing the them. good. It didn't stop exactly them because they got to shine out. There. Exactly. Then you're like, shit. She was actually working. Yeah. Elizabeth Marami, aka Liz, Kenyan's first female marine pilot. Mm. Ladies, if you're out there and you're thinking that you can't, oh my God, mm. you can. Mm. As a as a woman raised in Kenya, with a system Aye. which is pitted against you, no kama hali biashara kako. Wherever you are, you're believe mean. you can. You have so much more power and strength in you than you will ever believe, than you will ever know. All you have to do is just believe and take that first step. That's it. Tabitha Karanja Kerocho Breweries. Mazi. Monopoly Nini. See me. I don't care about your monopoly. What, what I don't care about this your one. big boy status. I don't care about your golf clubs. I don't care about your backhanders. I am going to achieve this. And yes, she did. I want to sit at this table. And I'm going to sit at this table. Oreo Colo, Carol Karioki, Eva Mariah, Mariah, Joaquin Dongo, the list goes on and on and on. Naita Tieno! Kwani nini? Eko nini? In yourself. Huh? Then you're your only limit. Exactly. You're your only limit. My that sisters. Here. My sisters. My sisters. If you ever doubted that a Kenyan woman raised in Kenya, born and bred, educated here, never stepped out, if you think that you can't achieve, Google. Mm. There's a list that you can't finish reading. Achieving in women in Kenya. Reading. Top women in Kenya. Just go Google it. You will be so inspired. You will be inspired to the point of tears. I was crying here. These people thought <laughs> there's something wrong with me. <laughs> Just reading the stories of these women. You know what I mean? My sisters, let us stand together. Let us stop tearing each other down. Who cares what I'm wearing? Who cares what my hair looks like? I am not my hair. Who cares that I'm loud? Yo. Stop. <laughs> Speak up. Simama uskike. Ladies, the first woman who ran a marathon. Aki, let's man it after with Jine Auyo. The first female rally driver was my namesake. So at least I Fabricius. Wongo. I swear. That's, that's where that's where my that's that's where my, my name came from and I was like I asked my dad, I'm like, and do you complain about my driving? Why? <laughs> yeah, you you named me after rally driver, the first female rally driver. So <laughs> hello eat your cake. So yes. You can make that change. Don't limit yourself. Do not limit yourself. Oh, when you want to get what you want to get, what can you imagine eventually what you want to do? You do you. Shine. Shine, nani, shine. Do you, babe? Fun your light. You work it. Apo, you go bright. And the light will be It's meant to be brighter than that. Uskubali. Like we like to say. Mlio wachura. How bum. Then right. not stop the, the cow from drinking <laughs> and quenching the thirst. So, yes, don't let them stop you from finding your light. Exactly. Catherine exactly. Switzer mm. was the first um, American marathon runner in 1967, Boston Marathon, and she entered as a man. She entered, she didn't enter as a man. She didn't put her full name. Mm. She put a K. She put abbreviations. Yeah, she and... abbreviated her first name. <laughs> <laughs> K Switzer. Mm. And they thought she was a man. Mm. So they let her in. Since it's only and gave her a number. Them. And when she started running, <laughs> some men <laughs> tried to her get her. Because they used to say mm. that if women run, mm -hmm. Uh, your your insides will fall out. <laughs> That's the level of ignorance, <laughs> and it's not that long ago. This is 1967, guys. 
1967, like literally some people who were born in 1967 are still alive. My, my parents were born walikuwa watu wazee kidogo. You know what I mean? Like some people <laughs> I'm not even joking. Some I'm people who are born in the 50s are still alive. You know like if you run, if you run your insides will fall out. Okay. But not if you run, if you race. You can run if we, when we want you to run yes. for something to go fetch to go do something. Mm. But if you race, your insides will fall out. Okay. Let them fall out. Because your vagina cannot hold anything. It can't yet. hold shit. No. Mm. Okay, Nisa. But I can, I can, I can, I can give birth to a four kilo child. Yeah. Because my insides will fall out. Mine was nearly five Cause, kilos. Because I'm running, Nisa. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, okay. ladies, it's okay. My brothers. I would now Inside. like to address my brothers. <laughs> I know you love me very much. Hello. It's crazy, man. It's yeah. crazy. I know you love us as your sisters. Mm. You're protective over us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Supporters. That's all we ask. Being pro female is not being anti men. Mm. Championing women's rights is not being anti men. I am not against men. As Stormzy says, the difference. he's not <laughs> against white people, yeah. he's just pro black. Yeah. Because when Stormzy started um, uh, uh, like a foundation mm. to enhance the education mm. of the black child mm. in the UK, mm. He was accused. Oh, He's an artist. Yeah, Stormzy. Oh, no. For those who don't know. <laughs> Both. No, that's not. That's that's the other one. Mm -hmm. Idris Elba. Mm -hmm. Stormzy is. Uh, I'm blinded by your grace. I'm looking for the title. Uh, no, yeah, blinded by your here. grace. Okay. That's the one. Mm -hmm. You know. And uh, Bossy Bob, you know, yeah, just such so storms you see. My brothers you don't die, they're just Bossy Bob, <laughs> you know, evil. Anyway, you're going into a zone. Uh, anyway, guys, <laughs> yes, ladies, my brothers, uh, men, my men who value their women and uh, wish this world was different, just do different, yeah, empower one woman, yeah, one. I challenge you. Just say something nice to a woman. Mm -hmm. Protect a woman who's being nyanyaswa. Kitu kidogo kama msea natika kuruka line juni demi kumbele yake. You know? Ama you're sat with your mates and a guy says something sexist that you don't agree with. Check them. Shut him up. Tell them. Shut up. I know a lot of my white friends are my friends because they stand up for black rights. Nobody can say something bad about black people and mm. any of my white friends they will, will shut up about it. <laughs> you know, yeah. they'll be like, no, that's wrong. That is wrong. I'm not black, but I no. know that what you're saying is wrong. It's wrong. It's ignorant. Yeah. Wrong is wrong. Whichever color, you know whichever what I mean? form, whichever And let's do the same here. From, it is African men unite to protect our sisters. Women. Wrong is wrong. Mm -hmm. If something is happening to a woman around you, don't go sit down with your mates drinking beers saying how that is wrong. Stand up. Shine, Nani. Shine. Shut up. Gender violence will stop when men start protecting women. There's a guy kwa hii plot yenu anakujanga kama melewa na chapa bibi yake mchapeni. Penye nyi mumshike mumvunje. Wewe umeshampiga sana hata pia sisi leo. Kama huyu angekuwa sister yako, ungeacha huyo mseto amtumie kama punching bag. Probably not. And kama wewe ni that kind of guy, shame on you. Yep. This thing will only end you. if we all stand up and do our bit in our communities. Yeah. Yes? My sisters if there's a guy hapo go inje kwa ploti yenu wanafanya ujinga come together as you can see the censors said we are more than them two thirds nani two thirds let us club together and do something about this you don't have to be violent mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. but anyway violence begets violence if somebody is being violent then you get to let them have a taste of their own medicine please. you know but we can all stand together and report these things 
if enough of you report this guy enough times to the police, they will get fed up of him doing the same thing and being reported because they also don't want to be doing so much work over just the one person. Mm. You know what I mean? Yes, you are here. Exactly. Yes, we are here. We are here. We are here. Yeah. We are here. 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 Exactly. Yeah. They get tired. People get tired. So, so we are here. We are here. We are My sisters, we are... Do you know what? Africa is blessed. Africa... We have all the resources we need right mm -hmm. here. Yeah? If we all just decided to look after each other, just kidogo, mm. just a little bit, just a bit of consideration. Yeah. Just for today, I am going to make an effort mm. to do something good to empower another sister. Another sister. Just for today, I am not going to let some bitchy comments make another sister feel like her life is not worth living. And that's verbal and written. So, just for today, I am going to see someone's achievement and not try to belittle mm. their achievements mm. because I feel like I haven't achieved as much as they have. Just for today, I am going to be kind and say something nice to 10 women in my life. Just for today. And let just for today be every day. Mini yeah. It doesn't have to be 10. It could be your one. It could be your two. Could be. Yeah. Just be nice. Like, do like the scouts. One. Do like the girl guides. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. One good deed. One. Just say one. Just for today, I am going to say something nice. Like literally, nice. if you have to write it down, my good deed today was blah, 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 yeah. blah. Two. Two. See how it makes you feel. So again, I recap and I say for any man who supports FGM <laughs> because it's your customs, go get the tip of your penis cut and then come tell us how you support FGM. Female genital mutilation. Go get the tip of your penis cut and then come tell us. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> mm, I'm having a usa moment. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> hey, again, it is very simple. Be the change. You understand? Be the change it starts with you yeah then it glows yeah outwards. and don't let anyone it's damn your your changes. yeah your dull light. your shine mm -hmm. because if the light is too much if you're shining too bright and they uh, object to it when do i know yes when it's some not, they turn the other way it is not your responsibility mm -hmm. as a strong independent woman okay. to make people comfortable okay with your shine guy it is not your responsibility to make people to caress their ego to dump yourself down to talk less than what you should be talking to do less than what you should be doing to achieve less so that it makes them comfortable it makes them less uncomfortable it makes them feel like oh i'm a man mm. or if your circle of friends thinks you're doing too much and you're achieving too much Good and they try to drag circle. you back down, Good. it's time oh, to find new that. friends. Circle. And it's really not that difficult. Just step up. Step out a bit. Mm. Network. Step outside yeah. that circle. Yeah. Okay. Just, 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 just outside. Kamo kwa chama pali nyu kutana tu kugosip mwenye ayuko yosiku. Talking about you. So, anyway, all I can say is I'm not happy. Why are you not happy? You yeah. used to the FGM. I'm not happy. I think that if we all stand together, 
against an ill in our society, an ill that is so heinous that people are dying out here either during the process of doing this or during childbirth because of something that people continue to see as a rite of passage that is harming women, then as a society, we are failing. failing. Horribly, flat on our faces, we are failing. I have two challenges. I have two challenges for the people out here. Mm. One, the first one is gruesome, I'm sorry. And I come to now. Go and look for those videos, the FGM videos. Yeah. Especially those who champion this. Go and watch a video or two or mm. six. Mm. Watch as many as you can. Basically, just sit there for three hours. Yes. Go and watch mm. and understand. Yeah. Why we are not happy about this? Why we are talking about this? Why is it still happening in 2020 and it's okay? At the traditions, do what nonsense, what bullshit? Go and watch those videos. Then the second one is nicer. Women, mostly. No, the men can do it as well. Yeah. Go and Google is your friend. Is your bundles? Sana on Friday. night bundles is on you. Go Google. The women, the pioneers, yes, kwa sababu ni wengi. Just go and check. Kenyan, African, whatever race they are, just mm. go and look for women who have made changes in this world. Yeah. Celebrated or not. Yes. And see what you think about after that. Mizov to the new Najia, Mizov to the new Nambi, or Kama Badu's not make sense. Yeah. Now, wewe kama ni mwanaume and you know you're saying those things ufikirie kama hizo vitu zenye unasema kama zina make sense yeah you have a wife you have a sister you have a daughter you have there's a female around you yeah whether it's your mother or whoever go watch go just go and google just go and see the women out here who've made those changes who've made positive strides in the world yeah kwairini and always remember there is beauty in everything. Yeah. Even on the days where you feel like mm. there isn't any good in the world, remember that Just that good in the place. world that you want to see mm, might and should, most importantly, be coming from you. Yep. Should be radiating from you. Yep. You know what I mean? That when you wake up in the morning and everything just looks like Mesh. shit everything feels like is it really worth it yeah. remember always that you're night. not alone in how you're feeling get up get done dress up show up show up and smile Bring the sunshine. You know what Bring I Bring mean? the sunshine. Yeah? Please. Because when you smile, the world smiles back it at smiles you. It smiles back at you. You know what I and mean? And at the end of the day, you have a big smile because you, it's, it's like... Don't forget that Blue. one... The journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. Yeah? So, if we want change, if we want um, to continue our fight, not just for equality but for justice, yeah, for security. Why is it that as a woman, I can't go for a jog at 5 a.m., hmm. yeah, alone? Because if I am assaulted or raped or any of that stuff, Ntaulizwa, wewe kwa nini ulienda inje kwa giza? No, I should be able kuenda inje kwa giza. Yes. You see, I should be able to wake up to early in the morning and walk to the bus stop and get to work safely. Yeah. I should be able to do that. Yes. I should be able to walk at night and come home at 11 p.m. Mm. from wherever I'm coming from. I should be able to do that. So no, 
don't ask me what i was wearing mm. don't ask me where i was coming from at that time of the night don't ask me why i was we live in a free country and what a man can do i should be able to do he's human yeah? ain't he why is it expected that it's okay for me to be assaulted if i dress a certain way if i go out at a certain time if i'm alone if you see what i mean yeah why do you ask that question because the moment you ask that question you've already excused that other person's behavior yep. who assaulted me unatetea mwizi unatetea rapist unatetea you know that child lakini your side that child has been defiled yes and you ask why did you leave your child to go and play outside by themselves i shouldn't have to chaperone my child to to play outside my child should be safe you shouldn't be asking me that you should be castrating the man who raped my child exactly the right question would be so let us talk punishing the victim yeah yeah that's rubbish gender violence is real yeah violence towards women is real mm -hmm. yeah in 2020 and <laughs> for me it begins with customs that we should be shedding yeah because it's all violence towards women yeah violence is not always a physical thing it can be a psychological thing you're belittled because you're a woman yeah so you grow up with a kind of mentality that i can't do what's the point mm. yeah and for those of us who are empowered for those of us who are lucky and i call it luck because nobody knows where they're going to be born yeah I call it luck for those who were lucky enough to be brought up in families that allowed us mm. to have an education mm. could afford for us to have an education let us be champions of female empowerment even at a micro level mm. yeah even at a micro level no especially Just at a micro level yeah. you know because it starts from what happens in our community here yeah. is what will radiate to the rest of society so let us today start on a micro level to be kind one candle let us start on a micro level yeah. to empower each other yeah. let us start on a micro level to support each other's businesses sure. let us start on a micro level to celebrate female achievement See, i'm taking this change. challenge and this week i am going to celebrate actually for the rest of the month i'm going to celebrate mm -hmm. a different woman on my yeah. profile every day yeah. and i will start with Miss Lepita Nyanga mm. Wakanda forever. Mm. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yes. Night at Yellow. Out. Afrofab. Where Malizia. Mine is simple. Yeah. A candle loses nothing. Yeah. By lighting another candle. Hundred percent. You lose nothing. Yeah. Being kind. Empowering another person. Yep. Being nice to another person. Yep. Smiling at another person. You lose nothing. Zero. Guess what you've done? You've lit another one. Ume fresha mungine. You've made a change. You've left that place different mm. and better. Mm. Amen. Preach. So yo, go and light somebody else's candle, please. Mm-hmm. Mwe na weekend in jam. Have a lovely weekend everyone. I just Thank know you so, so much on Monday for joining us and don't forget we're back here on Monday yeah. talking about relationships and we'll be here again on Wednesday. On Wednesday talking about money bananas, your relationship with your money. With exactly. Your money man. So guys, thank you so much again for joining us. Thank you to all those who continue to share I our know. show, to ho host all those uh, uh, watch parties. Nimona Bella Davis. Bella Davis. Today they were having a 
Watch party. And, and Sebo. Thank you so much. Sebo. Steve J. Stevens. Yes. Photographer. Yes. Pilot. We're talking about pilot. Pilot. Who jamana na mchezo ya drone? Uh huh. Apa. Wacha ni wacha. Yeah. They're like to tam. Five na six. Yeah. Yeah. Wakotu kama five na six. Wakotu kama five na six. Five na six. Wakotu apa na apa. Huh? Hi people. We anyway. love you. We love you. We love you. Have a lovely weekend. Have a lovely weekend. And uh, don't forget, for those of you who want to get fit. Elixir Wellness mm. is where you want to be. Tomorrow morning we're gonna be here. 6:30. 6:30. Things to keep in the arm. And just find us here to my bang is up. I'm going to change the level. Hello. Bye guys. Bye bye. Have a lovely weekend. <laughs> <laughs>